Hey everyone, my name is Rosie if you're new here and I kind of don't even want to talk about my, how my background is different. I'm standing. There's a lot of new things going on, but I kind of want to just jump right into the collage we're going to make. Today I want to make a collage using one image from each of the six cut and collage books that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. So let's grab those off the shelf. We have the one that had all the crazy weird medical images in them. We have cut stick collage, which I think had pictures of keys, and I've been thinking about them lately. I think I might want to use them. Then we have the celestial magic one, which had illustrations that aren't quite my style, but we're going to use one. And botanical plants, beautiful plants in here. Oh, spiritual seekers. Maybe we'll use an alien or something from here. Something weird. That's what I kind of want to do. And then the extraordinary things to cut and collage, which plenty of images in here. I did a full challenge video on just this one book a couple weeks ago, if you want to watch that. So let's start looking through these books and see what images we want to use. All right, let's look at this book last because I think it's going to be the one I rely on the most heavily. Let's start with this book because it's the one I'm a little bit uh, not sure of what we're going to use because the style is just so different than what I normally gravitate towards. So I'm going to really have to make this one work. I'm not quite sure. I found a couple of things I think might work. There's these feathers, which I think if I cut out all of them maybe individually and then rearrange them in a different way, that maybe could work with uh, something else in the other books. And I'm considering this one page as one image, although there are multiple feathers obviously on this one page. Then there's also these crystals down here, which I quite like. I think that those could work depending on what the collage is looking like. And then the last thing I really liked was the sun illustration. And I think if I separate it out from the rest of what's happening on this page, I could use it with other images and it would be totally fine. So those are the three things that I really like from this book. But I think we got to keep looking at all the other ones to really see what we're going to make because I really don't have much of an idea. All right, let's see what weird image we can find in this book. I found a couple things I really like in this book. There's this big image of this guy looking down, which I think might be a really nice addition to a collage. I also feel like maybe I should do something a little bit like totally different and maybe use one of these two aliens maybe. But I also really like these two background images in the back. They both have interesting texture to them and some really nice colors. And we're going to need a background probably, so it might be one of those. Let's take a look at some of the other books to see what else is uh, catching my attention. These are the keys that I've been thinking about. I really want to use these. I don't know why, but I really do. I'm also going to cheat a little bit. I think technically each of these keys would be one image, but I'm going to, I think, use all of them or a good amount of them because I just like them so much. So I kind of don't want to look at the rest of this book because I really just want to use these keys. I've been thinking about them. I've been dreaming about them, really. So let's move on to a different book. There's so many great mushrooms in this book. I really, I'm trying to not use mushrooms because I just love them so much and I use them a lot, but we might end up using a mushroom from this book because they're just all so good. Like, come on, how could I not? Okay, we're gonna have to come back to this book because I'm just getting distracted by all the mushrooms. So I have what I think is a pretty good plan from this book, the Spiritual Seekers book. I just really love this background. So we're gonna start here. Then from the Cut and Collage Treasury Bazaar images, I loved these parrots that were here and I thought that the parrots could have a different branch instead of wood and that is where our lovely keys come in 
and these are from the cut stick collage book. So I'm thinking the parrots can be perched on a couple of these keys, like the keys are the branches. Once I had those, I think I have like kind of a pinky, yellow, you know, rust colored color palette going on. Then I also want to add the sun. The sun belongs in the sky. I think it might be a fitting sort of background element. And that is from the Magical Celestial book. And then from the Botanical book, I didn't pick a mushroom. I found this, what I'm calling a poofy plant. <laughs> It reminds me of the plant from Horton Here's a Who, and it just looked like someone could be sort of laying on this poof. I'm thinking we use it this way, coming off from the edge of the paper, and I'm thinking someone should lay on top of it. So from the extraordinary things to cut out and collage, I found this lady who's being carried, but I love that her legs are sticking up and her hand is raising and she's waving. And I think that we can cut her out in a way that if we position her in the poof, it will sort of look like she's sitting in the poof and is happy and waving. And I kind of just love her attitude. So I think she might be a nice sort of central subject on this on the page. And then the parrots can sort of be on either side and the sun will be in the background. So I think this is a pretty good plan, but there's only one way to find out. And that is to cut out all these images and put them together and see what it looks like. Before I cut out the keys, I kind of want to figure out if there's any particular ones I like better than the others or the ones that work with the parrot's feet. So I want to just test a few. Kind of like this large one for this parrot maybe. Kind of like that one for that parrot. I think he sits really well on there. All right, these two. These two are the winners. All right, is now the moment of truth to see if this is all going to work together. So let's start getting everything on the page and see what it looks like. I might have too many elements, but I'm not gonna lose hope yet. We gotta just see what everything's gonna look like. Man, I wish this sun was just a touch smaller. I feel like maybe it's a little bit too big. I guess I could just have it go off the edge of the paper a little bit. That might be fine. I kind of like this. I love that the girl is right in the middle and the parrots are sort of on the side. And I think the colors are really nice. The background introduces, you know, this purple, pink, yellow type thing, which we have in the parrots in their heads. And then the green from the parrots ties into the stem of the flower and the purple pulls from the purple up here in the sky. And then the sun fits perfectly in. I kind of just really love the colors in this. I think that we are in a really good place. I think we just need to glue this up, trim out the edges and we are done with this.
Here's the collage that we made from these six books. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.